Hello, I'm Joe, aka Mr. Fragrance, and welcome to spring. I've got a cracking fragrance for you. Welcome back. So, Calvin Klein Man. I received this in the post about, well, it was around Christmas time, and from a lovely woman who has been sending me some great fragrances anyway um, that I, I've, I've been really interested in reviewing, learning a little bit about and wearing and I've finally kind of found the best time to review this. This is Calvin Klein Man um, and it's a great sm smelling fragrance, it's a brilliant fragrance and it's a perfect fragrance for the kind of weather that I'm hopefully expecting for springtime. So I, I stay in Scotland and the weather actually has been pretty good this uh, kind of transition from winter into spring. I'd say we're probably nearing spring. I'm not quite sure we're, I mean officially I think we are in spring but not quite feeling like we're in spring yet. Um, I've had a couple of days though where we've had some lovely weather and actually getting some pretty nice heat from the sun. Um, something, uh, the sun's something we recently discovered here in Scotland. It's uh, this amazing ball of fire that actually generates heat. It's actually, it's quite nice, it makes you feel quite good. No, I'm joking, I'm not going to help this reputation. Scotland has some pretty decent sun sometimes but we enjoy it when it happens. So after offending every one of my fellow Scots, um, I'm just gonna start talking about this fragrance before I dig myself an even deeper hole. This is Calvin Klein Man, and boy do I love this bottle. The presentation is absolutely brilliant. Yesterday, when I was preparing to film this video and start thinking about things, I took off the box, I put it down, and I thought, right, this box is also brilliant. Let me get some pictures. Knocked off the box, didn't realize I had rolled my chair over it. So I don't have the box as it's kind of in a million pieces. Well, it's not, it's just crinkled up. So all I have to show you is this incredible bottle, this lovely kind of artistic square style. I see it as almost like an abstract image from like a Mondrian painting, although it's kind of the lack of color defies that. I think it's a really classy look as well. Um, I can see it kind of sitting in the shower of, um, of, of like a, a luxury home. Um, yeah, sitting against the wall, dripping with water, that kind of thing. Um, could create quite a good image. But yeah, this is man, and this is the cap. It's a really cool cap. Now to show you the one slight bit of disappointment about this fragrance is when you spray it. I mean, the atomizer isn't terrible, but it kind of, it, it disperses in a more kind of liquid rather than dusted form, if you know what I mean. Now I've sprayed it, I'll let these top notes settle in and I will give you a brief description of who created this fragrance. Um, I'm going to butcher this perfumer's name but it was created by Anne Gottlieb. Um, quite, not quite sure how you describe that. And she really fits this kind of design of fragrance. It's a lovely shower of fragrance if you kind of want to define it as something um, in the category. And she is really, really well known for those style of fragrances. She's worked on so many of Axe or Lynx if you're in the UK. A lot of their stuff, kind of deodorant style, teenage perfume kind of style thing. Um, if you know, you'll know what Axe or Lynx is. This was created in 2007 and she'd worked with Calvin Klein for quite a while before that, doing perfumes with them as well. She's known for Calvin Klein Shock as well, which is a huge fragrance from Calvin Klein. Really popular, especially, um, a lot of that is down to their, you know, the major hyping from uh, Jeremy Fragrance as well. Um, of CK Shock. So now into the fragrance. This fragrance has notes, top notes of violet leaf, rosemary, mandarin orange and bergamot. It also has mill notes of bay leaf, incense, nutmeg and mint and base notes of cypress, guac wood, sandalwood, musk and amber. This was my first ever Calvin Klein fragrance I owned. I recently got this as I said from this wonderful lady who sent me this. Um, I, I hadn't really tried many Calvin Klein fragrances before that um, and I was taken aback by how different and how individualistic this fragrance is. You will really not smell anything like this, certainly not from Calvin Klein, um, or really, you, you most likely haven't smelled anything like this and that was my initial impression. When I first smelled this, without looking at any kind of note breakdown, I felt this kind of slightly floral opening but really spicy and this mint probably kind of adds to this spice but in a, in, a, in a refreshing way. And I that, that's why I was initially drawn into this whole kind of transition from winter into spring, because winter kind of, you, you know, you've got the spiciness, which allows it to kind of fit into that, into that time of year. But then this lovely freshness from the mint gives it, and the florals, give it this kind of 
versatility, allowing it to kind of uh, mainly show off its its true colours in this kind of slightly warmer weather. In the top, there's a lovely citrus bergamot, which is always really lovely in, in most fragrances really, and it features in many, many fragrances, but mixed with this kind of violet leaf creates for a really interesting floral citrus opening. It sits in the corner, it's not up front and centre, but it's there and it's subtle and it's beautiful. Of course, we've got the spiciness from the nutmeg in the middle, um, which kind of comes through into the top, as well as this lovely refreshing mint, which you, you rarely see in fragrances, um, especially by Calvin Klein. There's no denying also that this fragrance is, and forever will be, very synthetic. It doesn't smell particularly natural in any sense of the word, but it's still enjoyable and it's still really, really lovely to wear. Finally, if we're talking scent-wise, in the base, this amber creates a lovely warmth, which adds a little bit of solidarity to this freshness. The freshness carries this perfume all the way, but that unfortunately does lead to a early lack in pungency in terms of longevity and sillage. Most of the rest of the base notes are kind of redundant, especially when you're kind of taking them from Fragrantica, Perfumo, loads of these other sites, and um, yeah, the kind of muskiness isn't quite there. It's more there at the top as it kind of combats this, this um, fresh, minty, uh, citrusy, florally, florally opening. Um, and that, 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 that's there, but the musk really kind of doesn't sub sustain um, any further than the top to mid kind of first hour or so. The sandalwood is also there and the cypress is almost unidentifiable um, as is, there was another note, what is that? The guac wood, yeah, really, really tr tr struggling to find these kind of things. They're, they're, I guess they're probably mixing with the sandalwood. The sandalwood isn't exactly your traditional sandalwood that you're used to smelling, so possibly that that's, that's mixing a little bit, but I can't really smell too much. There's a there's a bitterness, and that could possibly coming be coming from the cypress, but that's that's as much as I can really say. It's quite it's quite an underwhelming base when you look at the rest of the fragrance and how interesting and intriguing and different it really is. Price wise, would I would I buy it? Would I recommend you buying it? Absolutely. This is why I'm doing the video. I want this fragrance to kind of get a little bit more exposure. This is the perfect time to be looking at it. It's kind of fit in perfectly, in my opinion. Mine only, um, as far as I know, it really fits into this kind of spring season. And I think you'll be able to wear it into summer as well, depending on the temperature, of course. Um, but no, I think it's a lovely fragrance in terms of versatility, in at least in this half of the year. Um, and yeah, really, that's why I'm doing this. I would hugely recommend it. It's so cheap. I really recommend it for the price. I mentioned it briefly earlier, longevity, pretty poor as well. Um, bring this with you, it's it kind of... The shape of it allows it to just slide into a pocket sideways and something about this fragrance, I don't know why, but I just absolutely love this bottle. Everything about this bottle is just really appealing. It's, it feels quite artistic and thoughtful um, if you think about things like, like you know, in that way. Um, but no, really looking at about two to three hours, um, pretty poor. But again, I'm pretty sure that Calvin Klein have quite the reputation for that kind of, um, you know, longevity issues. Um, and I said earlier as well, the fact that Calvin Klein are renowned for their shower um, kind of uh, soapy fragrances. This could easily fall into that category because of this kind of floral citrus at the top and this freshness. But the spiciness gives it and pulls it slightly away from that, um, that categorization of, of things. And um, because of its sweetness starting to settle in in the base, because it's amber, this fragrance is certainly not linear. It's, 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 you know, it's very shaping, it changes a lot as you kind of progress through it. It changes quickly um, and it becomes a skin scent very quickly as well. So bring it with you, uh, but I still recommend it. Sillage is, is moderate. Um, it's, it's certainly better in terms of, uh, it's better than, better than your longevity. But I'm not quite selling it in terms of performance. Bring it with you and trust me, it'll be worth it. So thank you very much for watching. I hope I've given you a good impression of this Calvin Klein man. Um, it's, it's worth a blind buy. It's worth it. Um, and I hope you enjoyed this review. One of these first kind of style of this, uh, first, first video of this style in quite a while. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. And thank you very much for watching. Please do like, subscribe and comment. And I will see you next time on Mr. Fragrance. Bye for now.